what is going on YouTube it's your boy run good coming at you with yet another video and you guys really really enjoyed the war day that we did where we put some uh, fat packs to the test against hanger boxes and to the test against a uh, blaster saw which one produced the most value and that's what we're gonna do today but we're gonna up the annual just a little bit because I'm tying it in with a giveaway hello I like money we all know that the blaster is $22 at retail so I'm going to be doing a giveaway. If the blaster produces the best value, and the, the rules are, very simple, the best card wins. If it comes down to it, we'll comp them and look at eBay for values. But usually these things, it's a pretty clear-cut winner. So if the blaster has the best card, I am going to be giving one of you guys a three-pack of Luminance Veterans. This is going to be a pink LeBron Luminance and two base Luminance of Luca and Steph. So that is what is on the line for the blaster now if the hanger boxes can pull off the victory i'm going to give you a couple foil boards uh there's that word again foil boards i'm going to give you kendrick nunn and tyler hero from essentials essentials right yep and a base zion but if the fat packs can pull off the upset the queen will rise to the top oh yeah i'm going to be giving one person not just a jaw base but a Zion Essentials foil board. So that's what we're playing for. If they can pull off the upset, uh, we'll, uh, we'll be giving you a Zion foil. If not, Zion and a couple Heat rookies. And if the Blaster, the expected winner wins, you're going to get some veterans, including that pink LeBron. Um, so best card wins. Here's how to enter. So I'm giving away something no matter what. Here's how to enter. Just go ahead, drop a comment on this video. You got to give me a play, a way to contact you, whether it's on Insta or Twitter. Uh, don't leave an email just for your own safety. Um, so, so leave a way to contact you and tell me your favorite NBA player of all time. Very easy. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So we have three fat packs. We have two hanger boxes, one blaster box. Uh, we will start with a fat pack first. We'll go to a hanger box. Uh, go back to the fat packs, go to the hanger box, and then we'll evaluate. We may do the blaster last um, and give the fat packs a chance. It depends on where the fat packs are at. So I'm going to move these off to the side, and we will go ahead and get started with our first Chronicles fat pack, see what we can find. Maybe we can start off strong, see if the, they can get right out of the gate and uh, take the lead, and um, one of you guys will get that Zion foil board. I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a while, but I wanted to incorporate it into a video, something fun. Something fun, not just, you know, a straight giveaway. I thought this would be good. You guys really reacted positively to the War Day video. So, we will do a War Day. Steph Curry Illuminance. I think I see a optic update in here. So, that's a pretty good start. Nicolo Melli from that Don Russ rated rookie. LeBron Score. That's going to be the Fat Pack exclusive. That's going to be... That's probably going to be the best so far. That's a bronze luminance Luca. Going to be Wiggins, Golden State. So that's currently going to be the best card of coming out of the fat packs. We got Cam Reddish and an Eric Pascal. So probably that Wiggins optic. It's going to be a chrome. That's going to be the first one. Or that's going to be the best one so far. So that is currently in the lead. We'll go ahead and sleeve it up. But pretty sure that's going to be more valuable than either of the foils in that pack. Not a big name player, but it is somewhat hard to pull though. So we will move on. We will go ahead and grab ourselves a hanger box and see what we can find. See if the hangers can grab the lead. I've only hit one of those before. One of those optic, uh, I believe they're optic uh, traded. And yeah, that's the first one that I've hit out of, out of those. So. The other one was uh, Marcus Morris. So, only two so far. And we've opened quite a bit of this on the channel. Alright, looks like we got a Crusade in here. Culver. I'm... Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. So, I think that the Fat Packs are going to pull... Or, I think that the Hanger Boxes are going to pull away with the win. I probably should have said that before opening two of these. But, the value that we've seen out of the Fat Packs... Uh, or, out of the Hanger, sorry just very good there's a reason why these sell for many many more times over msrp than the blast Ooh, that's gonna be a good one pay that man his money 
All right, that's going to be a Luminance Zion. I'll have to comp it. Last time I saw that card, it was like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, so like I said, right out of the gate, that's hot. It may have come down in value. I haven't looked at the prices of this stuff lately. But I'm going to have to put that ahead. As of right now, I'm going to have to put that card ahead of the Andrew Wiggins optic. But we still got many more cards left and we may have to go back to the we may have to go back to the fat packs after this. Nice Zion right there. See if we can find more Zion in here and a run up the score. We got a Giannis Green right here. Green is going to be the hanger box exclusive. We got a couple Giannis actually, both green. And we have a Crusade. Crusade is going to be Jaw. So I am not sure. I may have to do some research. We have an auto in here too. Oh boy. This fat pack. You guys might be getting you guys might be getting Hero Nun and Zion. Alright, let's save the auto for last. We got Brandon Clark foil. Tyler Hero and Jaw. And Nikhil Alexander Walker. So three good cards right here. I think all three maybe four good cards. So there's that jaw. Uh, and here's this other jaw, and the auto, gonna be Garrison Matthews. Who the f*** is that guy? Who the f*** is that? Um, so I don't think that that is gonna factor, that apprentice for the Wizards, Garrison Matthews, I don't think that's gonna factor, but I do think that one of these three will factor, so this may be a situation where I have to go ahead and look up, uh, comps on eBay and figure out which is the most valuable, um, but the fat or the hanger box definitely in the lead, so we need to go back to fat packs. And um, if the fat packs can't get it done and take the lead, uh, we will go ahead and rip them both, and then we will get into the blaster box. But right now, that was a very strong hanger box. So it's very obvious why these hanger boxes. Did I see a numbering? I thought I saw a numbering on the back of that, but did not. I don't think I did. All right, let's see what we got in here. See if the fat packs can take the lead. I see something poking the, on the side that's red. <laughs> that's what she said? I don't know if that is just a standard. I don't know if that's just like a standard Phoenix or what that might be. But having a little war day, I want to give you guys something. And this is fun. This is a fun way to open Chronicles. It's not just doing four blasters or four hangers or something like that. It's actually... You know, putting them, putting them a little competition. We got a Zion right there. Probably not gonna... Uh, hmm. This Zion might actually be worth more than that Wiggins now that I think about it. So we'll set that Zion right there. Uh, still not gonna compete with anything that we pulled in the last one. We have a Jaw from Playbook. And that's gonna be a Jaw uh, Bronze. Behind it we have Hashimura. And that is gonna be a Phoenix. And that Phoenix is not gonna be numbered might go in the hits column for there. Romeo Langford and PJ Washington. All right, so at this point, I'm fairly certain, I'm all but certain that one of these three cards is going to be more valuable than any of those four. So I think the most valuable card that we've hit so far is probably a toss up between the Jaw Crusade and the Jaw or the Zion Luminance. Um so I think that we have to open this last fat pack and see if the uh, see if the fat packs can beat the hanger boxes or we're gonna move along and see if the hanger boxes can up the ante before we open before we open the um before we open the blaster box. Write that down, write that down! No, it's a little confusing, but I did see a Pelican's logo towards the back of this pack, so that's a good sign. Barrett? Middleton, I dislike, the only thing that I dislike about Chronicles is the orientation of the cards, just, you have to orientate and orientate and orientate. Enhance. Enhance. Giannis. None. Pascal. And... Seco. Jackson Hayes going to be the crusade, unfortunately. I thought it was going to be Zion, but we're looking at Jackson Hayes. Also Darius Basley and Jordan Poole. So 
unfortunately, I believe that means that the fat packs are going to be eliminated. I don't think any of these cards right here are going to be better than any of those. So we pulled some nice cards, but I don't think any of these are going to put the hanger boxes or put the fat packs over the hanger boxes, which means let's go ahead and open up this hanger box. See if they can run up the score on the blasters already in the lead. I, like I said, I expect the hanger boxes to come away with a clean win. These things are just too good. They're too good. It's why everybody, when you're trying to buy these on the secondary market, it seems like people don't have a whole lot of these, but they have hanger box or they have uh, blaster boxes and fat packs. But always, always hard to find these guys. Also, the mega box is hard to find. I have not been able to find those at a good price. Everybody asking over two hundred dollars for them. Got another jaw right there. I don't think that's going to factor into the best card. Brandon Clark, Luca, Tyler. There. So running up the score a little bit. This is the best jaw in the base set. This is the jaw rookie of the year dunk card. So I believe. I know it's worth more than the Zion. I don't know if it's worth more than the Crusade Jaw, so we may have to comp depending on what is in that blaster. Terrence Mann, rated rookie. There's only five cards in this subset, so that's kind of a more rare one that you don't see very often. Kelden, LeBron, more Jaw. That's the playbook, which is the Hanger Box exclusive. Hunter. None. Who boy. Wow. Running up the score. That is our first numbered card. Uh, that is our first numbered card, and that is a Jaw Morant to 99. 18 of 99. See it in that corner right there? That's going to be our first numbered card from Chronicles. I'm pretty sure that... I don't know. I'm going to have to do some comping towards the end of this video before I declare a winner, but uh, this is just running up the score. All this is doing is running up the score for hanger boxes, making blasters, having a big comeback. I'm going to have to have a big comeback to win. We got Luca Green, Romeo Langford Green, Luca uh, Crusade, also Cam Johnson, Hometown Heroes, Jarrett Culver, Z Zion Foil Board. Jeez, Jaw XR and Nikhil Green. What? What was that? What was that hanger box right there? What was that hanger box right there? Luca, Jaw to 99, Jaw. We hit like four Jaws, five Jaws. That was ridiculous. All right, so that was like the goat hanger box. Every time I open a hanger box, I'm like, that's the new goat. But. Tonight, I don't know what, what what I'm doing with this not being in a top loader, um, but Jaw to 99, that's going to be our first numbered card, good numbered card to hit, and that is from Classics. Okay, so the Blaster has a long way to go. The Blaster has a very long, long road ahead of it. Let's go ahead and uh, see if the Blaster can come away with a win. So right now, it looks like you guys are getting some Zion and some Nun. And some Tyler Hero. You never know. These blasters have hit quite a bit of nice stuff. All of our autos have primarily been out of blasters. So uh, maybe our boy Sean, my boy Sean Kemp can make an appearance. He does have an auto in this product. Maybe Kemp can make an appearance and uh, seal the deal. And uh, you guys will get some veterans. But right now it looks like you're getting some rookie foil boards and a Zion. Carson Edwards, Cam Reddish Pink. Pinks are going to be the Blaster exclusive. Luca and PJ on the foil board. Yeah, those, those like I said, that, the hanger boxes are just, just nutty. And that one was, I'm pretty sure that one was our best, especially with the numbered jaw. Kevin Porter, sec out Pink. Over, pink, and that's going to be Drummond. 
Williams, Hashimura, Garland, Foil. From Recon. Ooh. That's a thick pack. That is a thick pack. Wait a second. We have two thick packs. Uh, this one's that one will go on the back for sure, but that one that one feels like one of those dressed for success jerseys, I believe. I believe that's the set name. Which our names haven't been great out of those, but they have been jersey auto, so maybe we can find a rookie jersey auto or something like that. That is going to be a Zion from Playbook. Uh, that's probably going to be our best card so far. Um, yeah, that's right. I have been trying to... I've been looking at these cards, but nothing has topped what we hit out of the hanger boxes, so I haven't really haven't really been like, oh, that's the best card so far. But Probably the Zion Playbook, but I assume that we have a couple Chromes coming. One of those should probably knock it off. That's Sekou. Jamal Murray. How good has he been in the playoffs? Thibel and Culver. So we have not hit a Chrome yet. Usually you get two Chromes per Blaster. I would expect to maybe start to see those. Randall. RJ Barrett Pink. Hashimura. Jordan McLaughlin. DeAndre Hunter. So we're down to two packs with no Chromes. So I, I have to assume a Chrome is going to be in here. And something is going to be in that other one. So, yep, we have a Chrome in here. Is it going to be Prism Update? going to be Hometown Heroes. Thought it might be Prism Update, which would be... That would be a card... A Prism Update would potentially be a card that could upset the hanger boxes. Luca on the Hometown Heroes. That's going to be our best card so far. We have Hashem, or DeAndre Hunter and Romeo Langford. So, we're down to one pack here in this blaster. But, um, yeah, it's going to be very hard to top those hanger boxes. But it does feel thick, so maybe there's both a chrome and a jersey in here. Oh, we have a thick card in here for sure. We will save it for last. Let's see what else we got in here. We got Kelton. Anthony Davis Marquis. Donovan Mitchell. James Harden. And how do I want to do this? Troy Brown Jr. dressed for success. So, is that Harden? Troy Brown auto. We've been getting some. We've been hitting autos out of a pretty good clip from these blaster boxes. But I don't think a Troy Brown Jr. second year. Yeah, I don't think a second year auto is gonna gonna factor in. But I do want to up the ante. So let's do this. Yeah, they had us the first half. I'm not gonna lie. Let's do this. I feel bad. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and give somebody all three. And uh, let's do this. Let's do two giveaways. So I want to be nice. And we kind of we kind of killed that break. So somebody is going to get all three. The Zion, the Hero, and the Nun. And uh, let's give away something from this break too. Let's go ahead and give away. You know what? Someone is going to also get the Jaw Foil Board as well so i'm going to pick two winners one of you guys is going to get all three foils uh zion kendrick nunn tyler hero and somebody else is going to get a jaw morant all you got to do leave a comment tell me your favorite player of all time in the nba and leave a way for me to contact you whether that's twitter or instagram uh, don't leave your email address uh for safety reasons but that is going to do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed the war day hope you guys enjoyed the giveaway uh sorry we went a little bit long a lot of product to open uh very happy with that break myself and uh we will catch you next time on down the road good luck everybody and we'll pick a winner in about a week or so i will announce details on the community tab as well as my instagram